Hi, it's Zana from Avalon Beauty and today I thought I would just have a little play. I'm going to, on this Colourpop, I'm going to use CND Field Fox Shellac. I'm going to do two coats of that and I'd like to actually build it up to make a unicorn horn and then coat it with this gorgeous Lacenti glitter. So let's give it a go. First of all, I'm just opening up the Field Fox. This is one of my favorite colors, Field Fox. I really love it. It's it's kind of a nude color, but it's gorgeous. And you know, all sorts of glitter colors sit really well on it. It's really very elegant. And I love it if you've got nail extensions. And it also is equally flattering on short nails too. It's a very elegant color. There's a little bit of fluff. Where did that come from? Sneaky. Let's get you over there. Right, I'm going to cure that first coat. See what I mean? Now, I know the light isn't fabulous, but you can see enough. The colour's gorgeous. Now, I'm just going to cure that under the lamp. Sit that in there for a minute or two. And, uh, yeah, so Shellac CND Field Fox. So, I'm going to do two coats of that before I start building the unicorn horn and I think what I will use is this stripe brush to build the unicorn stripes. Now it's not something I've done before but I've seen it and I want to try it out so I thought I would. So here I am. Since I have five minutes to spare <laughs> I thought I would try it out. So I'm going to use this stripe brush and I need something to dot some of the field fox on. So I'm going to use one of these plastic back pads to do that and I'm just going to dot the shellac on there but I'm going to do that once I've cured my two coats just in case it sets with the UV light and um, so I'll only do that when I need to apply it. This glitter looks absolutely fabulous, love it. What's it called anyway? Neptune Stardust Glitter. Ah oh, yes, we like the sound of that. So, Field Fox coat number two. I really want it to be a true solid colour before I start doing any nail art over the top. I love how this applies, it's so beautiful. Glides on. Right, that looks very good. Let me remove some of that, otherwise it's going to be too thick. Got carried away there, as one does. <laughs> therapeutic doing this as well I do enjoy it it's actually incredibly relaxing now let me cure the second coat and then we're gonna have some fun pop that in there look at these I've got these sparklies on today how nice is that this is sterling silver by the way 45 pounds from cherubs jewelry love it right so I'm going to put my field fox onto this plastic backed pad so that I can access it easily with my striping brush. Now it might take two or three, three coats to build up ridges as if it was a unicorn horn. So we're going to just try it out. Got to be a bit artistic got my brush. Let's try it with this brush. I've got shorter brushes, I've got longer brushes to do different nail art with, but let's try it out with this brush first of all. This is one of my favourites, just because I love the shape. <laughs> Such a wally. Also, lots and lots of other ones to choose from. Right, so that's two coats cured under the lamp. It's a UV lamp that I have and I've cured it for a minute under there. Now, let's start here at this corner. And I'm actually going to make it a reasonably sh shaped, sort of a twist on there. See that? So I'm just brushing that. It's maybe not the best light. Let me bring it a little bit closer. Now you can see just, now I know I'm using the same color, but what ideally I want to do is make some ridges. So that's pretty good for a first one. We might need to do, as I said, two or three layers of this to actually define 
the ridge. Oh, it's very pretty. Let me move that a little bit so you can actually focus on the nail pop. Oh, this is a lot easier than I thought it would be. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, I quite like that. I'm making them a reasonable distance apart simply because this is the first time I've done this. So I don't know how it's going to sit. And I just want to make sure I give myself a little bit of leeway. Now that's not bad for the first coat. We might even get away with two. I think I'd prefer to do three actually, just to see um, how much it builds up with three layers. So we'll try that. And I'll do this last one, just goes off the edge there. Okay, now I'm going to cure this under the LED lamp. Wow, I love it. Let me cure that under the LED lamp just for a minute. And then I'm going to coat again over those ridges with the field fox. How exciting, I've not done this before. I love doing nail art. And I can't wait to, oh, let's open it. <laughs> let's open it and look inside. <gasps> oh gosh, that's stunning. I love it. It's kind of pinky, peachy gold, is how I can describe it. A powdery finish. That's just very nice. Actually, almost rose gold, in fact. Yeah, very nice indeed. I think we're going to coat the whole of the unicorn horn with that and you should still see the definition definition of the ridges um, even though it's coated with glitter. Got to watch because I get glitter everywhere. <laughs> right, I'm just waiting for that to cure in the LED lamp. Now this time, this will be the second coat and this should, you should see the ridges much clearer this time. So let's have, take a look at that. See, it's already created stripes. That actually looks fabulous, right? Let me do next layers. This is quite fun. You could actually do this in a rainbow. Um, actually, Rachel, this could be an idea for your rainbow nails. Just saying. I'll need to get some more colors. But I'm sure we can do that rainbow style right let me just refine this a little bit because now i really kind of want to be careful but the ridges look nice there we go you can hear some people enjoying the sunshine outside it's actually 24 degrees here at the moment i am so sorry if you have rain today but my goodness it's so hot here lovely now this is actually doing lovely, I'm really pleased with this. You could actually do this with so many different things. You could actually have candy cane nails at Christmas time. That would be fun. Candy cane feature nail. <laughs> right, that's another set. Can you see? Love it, right? I'm going to cure that under the lamp. Cure that and I think I will do a third coat just to really define those ridges and because I'm having so much fun and then we'll get the glitter on it was actually glitter I'm not, <laughs> I'm not joking I've got quite a few and I've got this this is really beautiful it's creative play which is great for nail art and um, from CND and it's black but it's got Lots of multi glitz, big bits, little bits, tiny bits of multicolored glitter. I'm actually going to do a, a pop with that soon so that we can get a really good look at that. I'm loving that. Goodness. Never seen anything like it. One of the things I love about CND products is the variety and the combinations that you get shimmers, you get matte, you get glitter like you've never seen before and the shades of colour are really fabulous and very strong. I like that. And of course they apply well too which is always good 
no sliding around. It's really important, you know, when you find nail, a product that you really like and that it works for you as well. Now, if you want to book in and have this done on your nails, I can actually do nail extensions. I can do Brisa gel, which is a hard gel. And by the end of this month, on the 18th, I'm going to be starting my acrylic nail course. So I'll be able to do nail extensions with acrylic, liquid and powder from CND. And let me just correct this little blip. There we go. Um, so I can do nail extensions and then nail art on the top of your extensions. So that is super exciting. But in the meantime, if you want to book in and have this done, I would just absolutely be over the moon to sit and do your nails in a unicorn horn or a rainbow or just these wonderful stripes, finishing with glitter or leaving it like it is. Actually, also the field fox looks stunning with a matte top coat as well. Now, what do you think? Now, those lines are really defined now with three coats on the top. Look at that, right? Let me cure it because once it's cured, I can apply the glitter. So let me just set this to the side. I will need to be cleaning that brush so that the UV does not set my on my beautiful brush. because that would just be so heartbreaking. I do like my brushes. I tend to care for them very well. Right, I'll give that another clean a bit later. Now, for the brush I'm going to use to do the glitter is my Lacenti G1 brush. And of course, every girl's dream with sparkly bits on it. When you open it up, it's a flat oval. And it's great. It doesn't matter that it's a bit fluffy because when you apply glitter, you know, the coverage is much better. You don't need it to be perfect like your LMP brush or your Brisa Gel brush. It's okay for it to be a bit fluffy. So now I'm just waiting for the nail pop to cure. Here we go. Now I'll bring that back into the picture. What do you think? Look at that. How much fun is that? I'm actually really delighted with that. Isn't that wonderful? Right, let's put some glitter on the pop and see what happens. Now I am using a brush um, rather than, because this in particular is quite powdery. So rather than I'm using a, a brush rather than the eye makeup pad sometimes that gets used for powders, I literally am just using the brush. And I'm gonna cover this up. But you will still see the unicorn's horn stripes. Oh, look at that. It's actually beautiful. Now what I will do is once I've completed this, I just want to make sure that I've got all these little bits covered that should be covered and I've got no patches. Once I've just done that, I'm going to switch off this little light because then you should see the definition of the actual unicorn stripes a little bit better. Now, there, I'm just being a bit careful with that. Okay, that looks great. Right, let me just pop this to the side for the time being. Now, what I do need to do is top coat this. So, let me get this top coated. Now, I didn't take out my top coat because I was actually going to do a matte. But since I decided to put the glitter on, I don't want it matte. Is that covered properly? Yes, it is. So I'm just going to put on the Express 5 top coat. Then I'll cure that. Let me just get the glitter off my wee brush before I pop it back in. I'm just going to make sure that I've got that properly top coated and that there's none, there's no ridges or top coat sitting 
where it shouldn't be and it's all smooth. Oh, just about put it back in my pot there without checking for glitter. Bit of OCD going on. <laughs> How's that? Right, let me cure that because I want to finish it before I show you it with a light off. And I will just use the disperse to take the inhibition, inhibition layer off the top. I can never say that. Put my teeth in. So let me do that. I need to clean this brush as well. Look at this gorgeous glitter. It's just sparkling away on the actual, all over. <laughs> Can't beat that really. Right, so the disperse just gets rid of that gel inhibition layer. Try not throw the lid across your table. Put some of that on one of these little cotton pads. Now I do have appointments available if you would like your nails um, you, you know, done using this design. Or I've got lots of other ideas and lots of other designs too. So please get in touch. Right, let's have a look at this. This is the final exciting night. I'm just going to take off this top coat, uh, the inhibition layer, the top coat. You know what I mean, guys. Right. Now, and that's it. Now, let me switch off this light because actually it's actually sort of a rosy. That's it. It's a rosy color, but the light's catching it and making it look a bit gold. And that is it. Look at that. Now you could do this with different colors, rainbow stripes, and that is my unicorn horn nails. Look at that. Love it. Now the next time what we can do is put the stripes closer together or further apart. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye for now.